What is up, everybody? This is Eric, the one and only Barrier Collector, and today I'm actually bringing you guys something a little bit different. I'm trying to give the video game um, reviews a little bit of a rest and and do something I haven't done in quite some time, um, and that is review um, some toys. Now, um, this particular toy is something that's near and dear to me. Um, very nostalgic, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you might have heard of it, but I know that some of you may not. Um, but this, um, what I'm about to review, um, is GoBots. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have the case right here, actually. GoBots. Now, for those of you who don't know what these are, they are basically another form of um, Transformers. They came around the same time as Transformers. This is actually my case for a carry case for the um, GoBots. Um, the series started, um, the toy line was started by Tonka, but um, it started in Japan by, um, by Poppy and... Um, Band, I think Bandai was part of it, but then they were part originally of the Machine Robo, whereas Transformers were originally part of the Diaclone series before they came to the U.S. And eventually, um, they became the GoBots. Um, the series, um, they were they were trying to sell off the toys, but they made a cartoon series that came that started between 1983 to like 1987. And unfortunately, um, they were popular, but not as popular as Transformers. Um, at the end of the day, um, eventually Transformers um, Hasbro ended up sucking up the, the toy line. However, um, Transformers ended up, the people who own Transformers, which is Hasbro, ended up getting the names and and all of that. Whereas the molds of the actual figures and everything still remained with um, with Tonka or or Bandai um, because they later became and I don't know I'm, I'm correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but eventually they they can only use the names but they can use the likeness of the characters um, but I do hear talks eventually I've heard talks that they want to revive the GoBots again you know to do something different but anyways um, as you see when I show you guys this um, these toys you guys are gonna be like you you guys are gonna see why they weren't that popular as Transformers, um, but what I'm gonna review right now it's actually gonna be the main characters of the cartoon series. There are many other GoBots um, that that were out, but um, I will go ahead and show you guys. Now, unfortunately, this case um, I had it since I was a little kid, so it survived. Unfortunately, it's broken, but in here we have a set of six GoBots. Um, they're going to be um, the factions of the GoBots. You, you have the Guardians and the Renegades. The Guardians being kind of like the Autobots and the Renegades like the Decepticons. So um, in the actual car cartoon series, there were actually three three main good guys and three main bad guys, as you want to call it. Um, but all in all, they had friends. Um, They've had other friends, you know. The whole the whole story of the Gobots go that um the Gobots are from, the Gobots are from the planet Gobatron, and um the Guardians and the Renegades have been have been um fighting a war to um to try to stop the Renegades from taking over the planet and you know and take over you know everything. So then um Psykill discovers a technology that allows him to go to Earth and um and go ahead and um, take over Earth as the new renegade territory. So, of course, the Guardians go and, and they go and try to um, try to um, stop them. Um, but yes, um, so the main three, um, as you can see right here, I know they're small. You'll see the reason why they weren't that popular. So the main good guy, the main, main leader of the Guardians is this guy named Leader One. Really lame name, Leader One. He is um, the main, the main guy, Leader One. Yes, he's a jet. Um, the main bad guy of this of the series is Psykill, um, or Cycle, Psykill. It's actually Psykill. Now this guy, 
Man, this is the only thing. Give me one second because I don't want to break these. These guys are so fragile. Which is what, I'll get into that in a minute. But this is Psykill. He is the main bad guy of the Renegades. Here he is, Psykill. He's actually badass. I like this. He, he was one of my favorite GoBots, even though he was a bad guy. Kind of like Megatron originally when Megatron was, um, you know, the original G1. Megatron was a gun. You know, he's really cool. So we got Leader One. Let me move these guys. Yeah, I know. They're kind of... I know. Bear with me. They're kind of... Um, these guys are very old. Very, very old. Some of them I bought more recent. Um, as you can see, Leader One and Psykill I bought recent. Turbo, which is like the second in command to Leader One. He's a, a guardian. Um, this guy I had since I was a kid, so you could tell that I, I really enjoy playing with this toy. Yeah, just, yeah, there he is. Transformations, very basic. That's Turbo. That's the second in command. Um, I would match him up with Crasher. I, I love this one too. Um, now there's different variations of GoBots when they came out, like the Japan. For example, Crasher, when I was a kid, I used to have a white variant of Crasher. In the cartoon, she's actually black. And um, yes, that's another thing about the GoBots. They had a lot of male and female um, um, characters. Yeah, and she is Crasher. Really, really, I like this one. This one I like a lot. And then of course you got Another favorite of mine, which would be compared if I could stand her, the, the one that could be compared to kind of what, what Bumblebee was to the series is Scooter. Um, in the cartoon, he had a very like, he used to talk like, hey, little one. He talked kind of weird. He he had a funny voice, like the voice. And I know that some of the voice actors, I want to say, I forgot who, um, you know, the butler from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the actor, he was a voice of one of the, I forgot, one of the characters, one of the villains. And here's Scooter. This one I loved. Um, now, this isn't my original toy. Um, I used to have Scooter originally when I was a kid. But somehow my mom, okay, I remember the last time I remember when I was a kid. And trust me, I remember very well. I used to have them. Um, and I remember I, my mom put him kind of like in my bedroom at, at my parents' house. There's like the little, there's like a crawl space or an attic. And I remember putting him in a box one time and, and putting him in an, in the attic. And then um, once I went back to go look for him, he wasn't there anymore. So I don't know if my mom either threw him away or gave him away or I don't know. But then um, later down the line, a few years back, I bought this one. So he's not my original. None of these are my original with the exception of, of Turbo. And the last one that I would pair Scooter with is Copter. A helicopter. Yeah. Um, now I'm missing the propeller. A lot of the early, early GoBots that came out, they used to be, um, had a little bit of accessories. But um, Copter is rather very, he's very stiff typically and then he would use his propeller i remember in the cartoon he would go something like that and, and throw wind it, it was interesting but these are like the main characters of the gobots um you know if i can stand them there i got him to stand i'll try not to move the camera as much and then his engine so these were the main characters you got the guardians and you got the renegades um one of the reasons why these guys were not so popular, um, they were very flimsy. Um, they were simple in transformation, um, which is great. Um, but the um, quality of these guys, I remember going through so many GoBots back in the days and, um, and breaking them really easily. Although um, there is going to be an exception, and I'm about to show that one in a minute, um, of, of the GoBots that um that there were the quality was better the other thing is that compared to transformers the size they're too small 
um, Transformers were probably about bigger, which which um, I'm about to show you guys. There were Super Gobots, which the Super Gobots were about the original size of an average Transformer. These guys are about the average size of, of if you guys remember the Generation 1 Bumblebees and the Cliff Jumpers and all of those little tiny ones and pipes. Those were very small in comparison, which remind me about the height of these guys. And pretty much the toy line was a lot like this. Now, like I said, these were the main characters. Of course, they had other renegades, other other um, guardians, you know, others that came out more often than not in the cartoons, others that came very seldom. Um, for example, I remember one Gobot that I only remember him coming out in, in, one, in one cartoon, but they made a toy for him. But um, all in all, um, in 1987, um, they tried to make a movie, um, but they made something that flopped big time called the, they tried to do a spinoff called the Rock Lords or something. I actually have one um, GoBot Rock Lord and all they do is transform into rocks. So that was very lame. But um, of course, um, the GoBots came first before Transformers. One one of the things was that the GoBots heard the people who created GoBots Tonka. Um, they heard that that um, that Takara Tommy, the makers of the Transformers in Japan, they were planning on um, on on bringing in the Transformers. So they wanted to be first in the market for these toys, and so they started the GoBots right before the Transformers came out. Um, but all in all. Um, to me, these are like my childhood. Um, believe it or not, um, like I mentioned before, my parents didn't have a lot of money. This is another thing. They called these like the poor man transformers or the poor because they weren't that expensive. And even then, my parents were too... Um, they knew that they, that these broke easily, so they kind of didn't like buying me a lot of these. But at the flea markets, they had the Japanese version of it, of them, which were other color variants. And of course, they would buy me those because they were a lot cheaper than going to the store um, and buying one of these. Um, I, I remember that the Transformers, an average one was like double the price of a GoBot. And even then, the GoBots back then, they were kind of expensive in my opinion. Um, but of course, I had a lot of them, you know, like I went through a lot. Um, as, as you know, I'm going to make more videos. I just wanted to do this as like the introduction because I have a lot more toys I acquired as an adult and also toys that I had when I was a kid. So um, these are very nostalgic to me. Um, to this day, um, if you guys are planning on collecting these, I would suggest do not let your kids play or any, any small kids play with these because they are so, so flimsy. Um, I was scared right now to transform these guys, especially Psykill taking the wheels off. A common thing was that, that Psykill, the, the wheels would break and they would get lost. Um, which later down the line, they just stopped making toys with, with extra little things. Coptor, his his blade would always break. And um, that was the thing that used to um, piss me off about that one. Um, and there were other um, GoBots that had blades like that that would break easily. But like I'm about to show you guys, um, um, I, have, uh, I have several Super GoBots. And one of them is Psykill. This one I had since I was a child. Now, Psykill, um, I remember these being sold at JCPenney's um, and, and, and places like that, um, you know, and, and look, and yeah, this one's much bigger. Um, I'll take them out of the box. This one survived my childhood. I had this one since I was a kid. Um, these are all the other GoBots. Um, I have several of these at home um, and my parents, but yeah, transformation's actually very simple. Um, but the quality of these are much, much better. And of course, you see the Guardian headquarter, the command center. Um, but yes, um, these were much better. I'm going to take it out for a sec. So give me a second. But you'll see right now compared to the quality, um, these can probably compare to a transformer. And I remember these costing a little bit, um, a little bit less, but still more than a transformer. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of um, was not so lucky in getting some of these. For some reason, this one, I remember I got it at my, um, at my, you know, at the flea market one time, I think. And I got it for rather cheap when I was a kid. Um, but here he is. This is actually 
cycle compared to little cycle right there. This is cycle, which is much bigger. Um, you can hear the ratchet. It had more ratchets, which is something that not even, I don't think some of the Transformers had. I think some they did, but some didn't. And, and whenever you have a toy with ratchets, it's actually a little bit better. Um, nowadays, the Transformers, they make them out, out of ball joints, which is much better. Um, because if you, I like them and I don't because they get too wobbly. But at the same time, you won't break the pieces. But transformation for this guy is really easy. You go like that. And then you pull the... Okay, you pull the wheels forward. I think you go like... Uh, I think you pull... Yeah, there you go. Go like that. Move it forward. It's very similar to... I would say it's very similar to the um, GoBot one, the little one. But um, let me see. Okay, I think. There we go. Um, and there we go. And then, yeah, I like that ratchet. Of course, much better. And there he is. There he is, Psycho. Easy to transform. Rolls really good too. Actually, the quality of the tires, I've noticed that with the other ones, they were in really good shape. Maybe it's because of the fact that I've been taking care of it. I, I never really played with it. Um, I was just too afraid because I really, really like this guy. <laughs> Um, like I said, Cycle is like kind of like the Megatron of the GoBots. Um, and, and to me, it, it was just really, really cool. I'll, I'll do a size comparison so you guys can see. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah. Transformation, just very simple. The only thing I don't like about having Cycle is that you know how you have the tires on the side. Instead, he has that big bulky backpack. Um size comparison to them it's like this small sorry <laughs> sorry crasher so look at the size difference it's about twice twice as big almost than this and of course yes much more but yeah you guys this is um something that i wanted to cover for such a long time i was debating whether to do it all in um one video to put all my collection in one video but i decided to do it like this um i'll bring several um i'll bring like a couple of of toys um here and there over the times over you know as time goes by and definitely show you guys this but Love the cartoon, um, love the the toys, despite the flimsiness and the um, cheapness of the toys. Um, at the end of the day, um, this is my childhood. This is very nostalgic. I think um, I had Transformers. I played a lot with Transformers and these. I had G.I. Joes and even G.I. Joes, I didn't play as much as I played with these toys. And... Um, and to me, um, you know, when my son sees these, these, I feel kind of bad because I these are very, very fragile. So I tell him, you know, I kind of don't want him to play. And then another, I forgot to mention another thing, the, the rubber wheels when, on the smaller ones tend to break really bad. But yeah, so um, definitely this is something that, um, that I love, you know, when I was a kid. And to this day, I hold, um, I hold them dear in my heart. Um, I was actually more of a bigger fan of GoBots than Transformers at one point, but then, of course, Transformers took over. You got, you can't, you know, you can't beat um, quality, you know, over over this, you know. Unfortunately, if they would have made GoBots like this, would have made the line like this, it would have been much, much, much better. They're more, and you'll see um, when I do more videos on the GoBots, how the quality of the Super GoBots are much better than the quality of these guys. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have anything additional about this toy line for you guys, anybody that grew up playing with these, 
please share it in the comments below. I would love to hear your guys' stories. Um, this is something that that um, I definitely am going to cover more as the days go by. You know, of course, I'm going to make my video game reviews, but definitely going to do these guys. Anyways, this has been Eric the Bear Collector. Um, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Um, and stay tuned for more, for more of the GoBots. Uh, one more thing before I leave. Psycho used to come in a pack of three. Psycho Stinger and um, Twin Spin. I have these other ones too, but just wanted to share because this one they used to sell it at JC Penny as a triple pack, or he came individual. So yeah, so I have just I have just the cover. But anyways, I'm um, just something to show you guys. Um, this has been Eric the Bear Collector. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.